Welcome to DBCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to configure firewall rules and we get 292 fan router. Before we start the configuration, let's go and understand the laptop policy. So in my laptop policy, we have a Viget 292 fan router which is going to act as a gateway for my internal network and it is connected with PPPoE connection as a WAN and in my LAN zone I configured as 192.168.1.1 IP address. So let's go and access my Dretec 292 fan router with the default IP and username and password. Open the browser and the type the IP address as 192.168.1.1 and the specify the username as admin and the password. Say login. Click OK. Now the first thing is that if you notice here in my laptop policy, whatever traffic which is going from my internal network to external network, it is passing through my router. So through the router, I can able to do a complete control. So for example, I can, I, I just want to block a ping. For example, if you see here, by default the ping is allowed. So if you want to test that, just open your command prompt and type ping 4.2.2.2. So you can able to see the successful ping. So sometimes as per the customer requirement, we need to block the ping. So ping is not allowed to access any of the users. So that time what we are going to do now, you can go to the firewall. Then after that, click on the filter setup. Then you can see here there is a two rules over there. The first one is default call filter and second one is default data filter. So the default data filter is going to work whenever you connect to the internet. So just click on the set two. Now by default, if you see here, the netboy is traffic by default is block. So these are the rules which is going to execute one by one. So the first rule is one and second rule is two, three, for like this is going to execute. So now what I'm going to do now for you to understand, I just put the continuous ping, ping 4.2.2. But before that, I just want to show you what's the IP address of my device. So let's click here, open network and preferences. Then after that, if you see here, the Ethernet I is connected with 192.168.1.10. So right now I got the IP address from my Dretec router, which is 1.10 and my Dretec router is 1.1. .1. So now my concern is that whenever 1.10 is trying to ping, I just want to block. Not only 1.10, the whole network, which is 192.168.1 network, I don't want allowed to go to the internet, or I mean, I don't want to do any ping from internal network to external network. So for that, what I'm going to do now, I will keep the continuous ping, which is ping 4.2.2.2. .2 now I'm going to write the policy. So just click on the rule number two, then after that enable. So I'm going to say, for example, block ping. Now the direction. So the direction is going to specify from where to where. So I'm going to specify LAN from LAN to WAN. What is the source? The source, you just click on edit. Then if you see here, there is a address type. So in the address type, I'm going to select this subnet, the whole subnet, which is 192.168.1.1 then what's the subnet mask the subnet mask is last 24 then after that click ok then what's your destination destination can be anything and which service so the service type i am going to specify as if you see here the protocol is icmp in case if you define by your own you can able to select from that so i'm going to select as icmp then click ok then after that the filter the filter i am going to say block immediately then after that click ok now after this just go down and say ok now you see uh, the ping is block now you can see there is no ping at all now what i am going to do now i just want to disable this policy then just go down and say ok now you see here there's a ping is going to start again so this is what how it's going to work now i'm going to enable again i don't want to do the ping so say okay now see here it's going to block so this is what how it's going to work the rules 
So the next rule is that what I'm going to show it to you. Let's open my slide. And if you see here, configure the new rule to allow specific ports to allow internet access. So for example, right now at the moment, everything is allowed. There is no restrictions. But as for me, to allow the internet access, we need to allow either DNS, there is a specific ports over there to access the internet, the DNS, HTTP and HTTPS. So right now what I am going to do now, I am going to allow only these three specific ports. Let's go and see it. So for that what I am going to do now, I just go to the object settings. So first of all I am going to create the service objects. Go to the service type object, then after that click on number one. Then I am going to give you here for example TCP80. So right now the port number is TCP80 and the protocol I am going to select as a TCP. So what is the source port? And make sure that it's very important to understand guys. So the source port and destination port is nothing but, let's go and take my pen and I am going to explain to you here. So for example, let's take this guy. So for example, 192.168.1.10 1.10 is trying to access let's say Google server. Let's say the IP address for Google is 4.2.2 by using port number 80. So that time when the request is going from internal network it will be like this 192.168.1.10 and it's going to choose the one of the source port. The source port between it will be any number between 1 to 65,535. So this could be like 1 to 65,535 and the destination IP is 4.2.2.2 and it will ask you what is the port you are going to use. Let's say I am going to use port number 80. So this is my HTTP access. Hope you guys will understand what I am trying to explain. So this is your source IP, this is your source port and this is your destination IP and this is your destination port. So that's why whenever you are going to configure this source port, you should not change it. You have to keep it as 1 to 535 and the destination port we are going to keep it as 80. So make sure that you need to understand before you are going to configure these ports. Otherwise you are going to end up with a lot of issues. So now I'm going to keep the source port as 1 to 535 The destination port I'm going to keep it as 80 and the same as this. In case if you want to give the range, you can able to specify it, then click OK. Then after that, I am going to create one more port, which is TCP443, that is HTTPS. So I am going to select TCP and the destination port is 443. Then click OK. Then after that, I am going to create one more port, which is UDP53, that's my DNS port. Then after that, select the UDP. Then after that I am going to specify 53 or else what you can do here you can able to select either TCP or UDP. Sometimes you can able to see the DNS port is belongs to the TCP as well as UDP. If you want you can do that as well. Then click OK now. So so far we have configured three ports then these three ports are very important to access the internet. The first port is 80 which is HTTP. And second port is 443 which is HTTPS and third port is 53 which is DNS. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a group here. So just go here and let's say that web browsing. Now I'm going to select all these ports then click OK. Then after this let's go back to the firewall then click on filter setup then go to the data filter. Now I'm going to create one more rule that rule is that allow internet access. Okay, so allow browsing. Then after that, the direction, land to WAN, and what's your source IP? The source IP I am going to select as 192.168.1.1, which is my subnet, the starting IP, and subnet mask is slash 24. Then after that, click OK. Then what's your destination? It can be anything. What's your service type? So the service type which I already configured, if you see here the service group, just select here web browsing. Then after that click OK. Now only I am going to allow these things. I am not going to allow any other ports. Then after that click OK. Now if you see here, 
then go down and say okay so i have a complete restrictions guys but now the problem is that if anybody trying to access pop3 or imap the mail services they cannot able to do it so you should be careful so if you want to understand that what type of traffic is going from your system as you know that go to the diagnosis then click on the nat session table there you can able to see hope you guys are clear now if you see here there is a port number 5223 by default it's blocked and 443 is allowed at the moment i'm not going to do any other services yeah so now what i'm going to do now for you to understand more see now i can able to access the internet guys i don't have any problem either http or https on dns it's going to work perfectly for me www.retech.com see i can able to browse as well i don't have any problem here i can able to see see here but now what i am going to do now for you to understand more i just go to the firewall rule then i am going to the filter setup and click on the data filter and i am going to create one policy like i am going to block everything guys okay block everything so now what i am going to do the direction is land to van the source ip address i am going to specify the subnet as 192.168.1.1 and the subnet mask is slash 24 in case if you want you can create the object as well there's no problem for it say so, okay now now i just want to say destination can be any and service type is any and immediately i'm going to say block now click ok then after that go down and click ok now you need to see here guys one important thing here so this is a blocking say okay now still i can able to access the internet see here so for example i just want to go here www.youtube.com there you go i can able to access and still i can go and access everything here what's the reason see here i can able to browse i don't have any problem but the problem is here these rules they are going to execute step by step guys so the first rule execute in the first after that second if doesn't match then it will go to the second if doesn't match it will go to third if doesn't match it will go to the fourth so now what i'm going to do now for you to understand i'm going to make it this one up the moment when i make it up let's see what's going on guys see now say okay see the surprise now you try to access anything new site okay let's go and do that www.gulfnews.com see here it's rounding 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 because you are not able to access anything this is the beauty of the data guys you have a complete control now i am trying to browse something let's go here let's say that i want to do some ap comparison see it's simply rounding guys see i cannot able to access anything try again try google.com try again www.google.com let's close this and try again yeah just open this www.google.com see i am not able to access anything because the problem is that this policy is blocking all the traffic so now i am going to make it down again so that see here now the allow browsing policies came into third and blocking policy it went to the fourth so now what i'm going to do now let's go here and click on ok now check it here there you go try drytech.com there you go because this is what how this firewall rules are going to work so that if you want to access you can able to access so right now i have a complete visibility and access because i allowed http https and dns so this is what how the firewall rules are going to work thank you for watching for sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com